Alright, hey everyone, Mercer in here. AK Styles. Welcome to a new game, Let's Play, that been actually taking forever to actually record. Holy crap. <clears throat> it's called Quantum Conundrum. I have actually been wanting to play this game for probably about mm, maybe a month or so. Holy crap. I actually wanted to do this for like a month and yeah, this is basically the first time I was actually able to record because I've been busy doing a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff, trust me, and also trying to actually record something, recording with something new actually since a lot of shit's been happening with <laughs> computer-wise, stupid Microsoft, anyway. Uh, that's why I don't get an Xbox 360. Ha ha ha. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, um, speaking of Microsoft, yeah, um, the reason why I actually wasn't able to record anything was because I was trying, I tried to record, like, I decided, hey, let's try to record something with, uh, my Dazzle, and then suddenly, whenever I used it, uh, it turned out that I had a visual C++ termination error. But like C++ wanted to terminate it, I was like, okay then, that's pretty awkward. And <clears throat> I was not able to record with it. I wasn't even able to even edit with it. It was like right at launch, it would be like, no, it just C++ wanted to terminate it. I was like, really? Uh, and I just ended up like un uninstalling it and uninstalling Canonical Studio, so now I don't have an editing software, so most of these videos probably won't be edited for a while. Unfortunately. <laughs> for you guys. <laughs> and for me, because of how my voice, I mean, how my mind is when it's like, everything it just needs to be perfect. <laughs> and, yeah, it's not gonna happen for a while. So, yeah. So, yeah, I'm and also, I'm using a new edit um, recording software here. It's called the Elgato uh, Game Catcher HD. As someone may know from just watching this, they probably know, hey, I recommended this to him, and yay! Yes, uh, it was recommended to me, and it was actually the time when I actually, for some reason, when I actually installed this, it was that, I don't know, I don't know if there's like some sort of coincidence to that, to like having, like, when I installed. Um, Elgato, it actually like my pen that was like nearly the same time when Pinnacle Studio started to have that Visual C termination. Yeah, I don't know if there's a correlation to that, but whatever. Anyway, let's just. <laughs> I've been talking for like four minutes and we haven't even started the game. But anyway, um. Also, about like two or three days from the time I'm recording this, I'm actually going to be in college, which makes it very even less convenient because of the fact that I would still I would have college work in the middle of recording a let's play. So, yeah, <laughs> please expect that, and possibly I might be continuing. To Fanfic Friday, since I don't really have any classes on Friday, uh, so I can upload that day. I don't have any classes that day. I only have classes on like Monday through Thursday, which is actually very convenient, but at the same time, it's very stressful because, yeah, because I have been, like one of my days and two of my days, I have like four freaking classes at once, and I'm like, uh, that's gonna be very stressful. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, let's just start the new game. <laughs> Once upon a time, that's how these things usually start, yes? A sister took pity on her brilliant, prolific, and incredible brother. She had somehow gotten it in her that head that he true. might be lonely, or at least that's what she claims. And so, on a perfectly fine, productive Friday afternoon, the sister picked up her son from the Elwood Academy for Boys and dropped the aggravating child off on my, uh, the, the brother's doorstep. 
Now you, I mean, hmm. the boy, hey, had visited the Quadrangle Manor on a few occasions. Really. Each time was complete <laughs> with a grand entrance from the brother, who was in fact a professor and inventor with a profound Ooh. and soaring and intellect. And smash. With each visit, the inventions he exhibited became more slick and Ice. Savage. That looks so cool. Get it? Cool? <laughs> the boy eagerly awaited the revealing of the professor's latest contrivance, but this, the most captivating hey. of visits, started. Where's that professor at? <laughs> is it about the professor or is it about the invention? Because I have no idea. Well, let's see here. If I configure the transdimensional velocity regulator at approximately uh, zero, all right, so seven microseconds past. Oh, you're here? I have the most incredible invention to show you this visit. Unfortunately, I'm a bit <coughs> indisposed at the moment. Really? Uh, I didn't know that. Anyway, um, also, um, if in case you didn't know already, I'm actually using uh a new mic to record my voice. Um, it's a Red Samurai headset that's from. Uh, if you take your luggage into the foyer, I will join you as soon as yeah, okay, I can. Anyway. It's basically a red samurai from uh, GameStop. It's not bad actually. It was basically one of the only things on that were good that I could actually afford. Great expectations. Also, I'm going to be reading these books a lot. I'm going to be reading these books a hell of a lot. This says grid expectations is basically about exponents and hooray. Anyway, let's press the button. Yay. This is basically a game more like uh, Portal, which is awesome because I like Portal. Portal is an amazing game. I highly recommend you guys get that game and play it. Like Portal and then Portal 2. Those two I definitely recommend you guys buy um, playing. Because if you guys are watching this and you guys enjoy, are going to enjoy this. Why did that door... What? Did I get... I could have sworn I just got pushed out. Oh, you oh well. confounded machine. <clears throat> okay. Oh. Whoa. What was what that? Was that? <laughs> we said it at the same time. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Because the recording software actually does have like a. I don't know. Like a. I, I think like, like a couple seconds of delay. Like the the voice recording software, the voice recording part of this uh, Elgato. Yeah, I'm using actually the live um, commentary portion of the uh, of the Elgato as well. And yeah, it basically adds the record um, the voice into the uh, video, which makes it probably a bit more harder to edit if I actually did have an editing software. Anyways, this is called the Wizard of Osmium. Yay! That looks. That sounds oh, pretty good. Cool. Uh, that should be a safety release for the door up there somewhere. No. Now, where on earth did I put that? Wait a minute. Something isn't quite right here. Huh? Whoa! What is with that shaking? Wow. Anyway, let's go in. Uh, oh no 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 no! no. So, what's wrong? Ah! Yay! Huh? Why is that thing floating? Huh? What? What? Why were there floating things? What just happened? I don't know. Entirely sure where I am right now. What do you mean? The security uplink on my watch still seems You're to work. You're here. So I see you and I guess hello, so. you, you you can hear me, right? Jump around a bit if you can. Wait, I'm I'm reading a book right now. Through the looking spectrometer. Ah, cool. it seems as if I can still tap into the intercom system. Well, I most certainly can do better than this. Testing, testing, <laughs> testing, testing. Testing. Um, oh, much I don't think this is how physics now, work. What in the world are you doing here? I think I Were broke you physics. To be here today, no matter. Like, well, judging from the current underwhelming amount of light in this room, we're still on backup power. My head is 
hands. Yeah, this is definitely not how physics work. Rather large epidural hematoma. I think the game is trying to fix it. On the head. Do at the same me time, is like trying to do a favor and head to the front hall. Uh, There's a way to. Oh yeah, speaking of which, I have actually in one of my like failed recordings, I actually tried. Uh, I actually did break physics again. I actually did break physics. Um, one of the uh, first times I actually recorded this. I actually did try to uh, break physics, and it actually worked. Um, I think I did like on one of these things here. I actually put a book on one of those things, and it turned out that it actually. Uh, what is this book? Is this the book I'm? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna wait for that. I'm gonna wait on that for a while. Uh, let's see. What does this book say? Starship Troopers. Okay, let's put this book over here, to where. Yeah, something like that. It's something like that, except it was at an angle where it was actually literally floating. I did not understand it myself. It was like, what the hell is this? What is this? Like, like really? Mansfield Pulsar, and then this awesome book right here. Oh my god, you're gonna love it. Beowulf. <laughs> you know, like Beowulf, right? Yeah, they. this game makes pretty good references, and according to uh, science and math, when it comes to referencing in books, um, it, they try to put like a little math joke in it and a little science joke, which I sort of like. I actually really like it because um, I really like math and science, and yeah. And also, in case anyone wants to know what I'm going in for, uh, I'm going in for uh, in college. I mean, like I'm going in for uh, video game development and stuff. So yeah. <laughs> It's going to be a lot of fun, <laughs> especially when working with those physics. Just look at those physics over there. They look so amazing. <laughs> if I ever made a game with that physics, oh my god, I'd probably make a game with bad physics on purpose. <laughs> Last I remember, I was in the new technology sector, and then, I don't know. I do think the failsafe was tripped accidentally. Well, I think everyone Unfortunately, the front door will remain in lockdown. Until you can restore the power. What front door? Uh, anyway, uh, Henry the Eighth. Cool. Um, also, I'm supposed to act like I'm ten, since I'm pretty sure the game said I was ten, if I'm correct. Did it? I I'm not even sure if the game did say I was ten. Uh, I'm going to say I was ten. I'm going to say in the game I am ten, and yeah. I'm gonna actually roleplay as if I was 10. Alright, so, uh, what's this book? Uh, The Call of the Wind and Wild by I Know Real. BORING! Anyway. <laughs> no, wait. 10 year olds don't do that, do they? Do they actually get bored by books? I think they do, but. Uh, y no, you, you can't be. No. Y you can't really make fun of 10 year olds for, you know. Well. Actually, I'm just, if I'm going to be a 10-year-old, I might as well just talk about how kids play Call of Duty all the time. Be like, YOLO swag and all that dumb crap, which I am not definitely going to do. <laughs> uh, that would probably break my whole community and myself. Uh, that would probably break my mind, and I'll be like, why am I doing this? And yeah. So, I'm not doing that. <laughs> also, there's an autosave there. <laughs> If you head over to my office over on the left, you should be able to restart the manor's power grid. Really? I have to? Alright, but I'm gonna go over here first. I wanna look at these paintings. That looks pretty cool. Uh, alright. Wait. What is that thing? I just remembered. What is that thing over there? Looks pretty classy, but... I don't know what he is. But anyway, <laughs> let's move on. Also, something I just realized. Oh, look. It's a glove with a glove with uh, tubes. Some uh, science tubes. Pretty cool. Um, Throw that switch there. This? It should be the one. Also, um, over here, you have to find uh, blueprint tubes, which are basic uh, where are they? Where are they? Basically, these things right here. This is a blueprint tube. 
Um, and, and then that will unlock the uncle's research and development lab. I'm basically working with... I'm basically working on that. <laughs> working on that thing, what it's saying. And yeah, I've been... I've recorded... This is like probably the eighth time recording this, actually. Not today, but like every day, pretty much. A blueprint of a blueprint. Blueprint section. I love it. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is a nuclear clothes dryer. That's another blueprint tube. What is that? A p plutonium powered mustache machine. Cool. I can grow my mustache, actually. I can grow a mustache for once. Because my mustache is sort of crap, actually. Uh, cat always land on their feet in there. Why? Because cats always have problems landing on their feet? Not really, technically. Just. Uh, the Singularity Toothpaste Retubiner. Tube, black hole, domesticated. How do you domesticate a black hole? I don't even want to know, actually. An interdimensional space to shift. Wow! I always say that. An interdimensional, interdimensional space taco. And I'm like, no, that's not what it's called. It's interdimensional shift taco. Dry dimension cheese, dimensional guacamole. Wow, ill. Ugh, I don't really like guacamole really that much actually. A hundred percent taco shell from freshly milked taco. Wait, wait, what? You can milk tacos? <laughs> I know that's not a real thing, but what the hell? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, let's just press the switch. Hey, look, the power. No. Well, that wasn't as effective as I'd hoped. You'll have to reactivate okay. the generators in each sector in order hey, to lift that? the current lockdown. Just uh, take the glove in the box with you. I wish what you could see my facial box? expression right now. Oh my god, what is that thing? I am not. Did you see that? Oh, whatever. What is this? Wait. It's the glove in the box. Oh my god, it's the glove in the painting. What Let's you are it. holding is an early prototype of the interdimensional ship device, or IDS device for short. It's one piece of my latest invention that should come in handy. Get it? You I'm know, actually a bit because tired it's a glove. as well. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case someone actually wanted to know. Uh, and also, yeah, so. I think that's about all we have for today, actually. I think I'm gonna end it right here. And now, if I can actually redo, like, repeat what I actually did, I'm gonna be like. Is that. No. I think it was almost like that. I'm not exactly sure. I'm trying to, like. It was some weird physics. That's all I wanna know. That's all I'm gonna let you know that. It's just some weird physics. And it ended up... I, I think I, like, threw it at the... And it ended up like that. I'm not exactly sure. I actually deleted every old recording, and I was like... Or maybe... Oh, yeah, that's probably what it was right there. Probably something like that. And I think the story is called Prime and Probability. Yep. It's a pretty weird book. Anyway, um, I think we're about done for today. I, I think I'm going to end this right here because it, it's around 20 minutes, and I don't want to piss people off by saying, oh, my God, you have so long videos, and uh, yeah, and I don't finish them, blah, 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 and stuff like that. And it, it really just irritates me a bit, but... I can understand what people are saying, yeah, but I mean, I record 30 minutes each video, and it doesn't even seem that bad to me. I just want to make good progress, that's basically the whole thing. So, yeah. So next time on Quantum Conundrum, we shall be going in there. We shall be going in there into that blue door area. What is this? What are these things? They look like nuclear cores. I, I actually wanted to wonder actually what if those things are. If you can access are. the generator at the back of each wing, we might be able to lift the lockdown 
on the rest of the house. Oh, yeah, he's telling you. It seems as if the breaker did unlock the blue wing. Well, I suppose you should start there first. So he basically just told you uh, what we're going to do next time. So next time we're going to do that. So, yeah, so next time we're just going to go into the blue sector and find out what's going to happen. So, yeah. So I've been Marisonier, aka Styles, and see you guys in the next time.